This is Leon. Leon is stressed up to here. He has a to-do list as long as his arm. He's just been told by his superior that he has to prepare some materials for an urgent meeting and his wife is on his back about some errands that need running. He's anxious, he can't concentrate and he can't seem to get anything done. This is where the prioritisation matrix comes in. It will show Leon not only how to use his time efficiently but also effectively. But first, let's be clear on the difference between urgent and important. Obviously, we don't need the dictionary definition. What we want to define, though, is how those terms relate specifically to activities that Leon needs to accomplish. Have you ever noticed that important activities usually lead to the achievement of your own goals? Urgent activities are often associated with the achievement of someone else's goals. The problem is, we tend to concentrate on completing urgent activities, because they're the ones with the impending deadlines and more obvious consequences. Note that urgent activities aren't always important. Back to the matrix. The prioritization matrix is a powerful tool. Quite simply, it plots tasks, helping to quickly establish which tasks are important and which are urgent, or which are neither, or which are both. Now, pay attention, Leon. From low to high, this line shows the urgency of a given task, and this one from low to high, the importance. First, Leon needs to place all his activities along here, depending on how important or urgent it is. For example, Leon likes to spend a few minutes each morning web browsing to ease into his day. It's clearly not a task that needs doing immediately, and it's not a particularly important one, so we'll place it around here. This email just popped up. Oh, Carol's got fresh muffins in her office. That's somewhat urgent. Leon doesn't want to miss Carol's fresh muffins, but he does realise it's not vital that he gets one. Another task on Leon's list is getting to the gym. That membership fee isn't cheap. Exercise is fairly important, but not all that urgent, hence missing many weeks. Leon has that presentation this afternoon. He really needs to get everything ready. It could mean nailing that contract. With all the tasks in place, divide into four quadrants. In this quadrant, important goals. These activities need to be planned or started if possible. Find a specific time each day to work on them and don't allow anything to encroach on this time. In this quadrant, distractions, which simply need to be dumped. Interruptions. These need to be assessed, then either done quickly, or better yet, delegated. If you haven't already, please watch our excellent video on effective delegation. Another way to deal with these tasks is to learn to politely say no to people. The interruptions are the problematic ones that prevent important tasks from being achieved. And finally, there are the critical tasks, which means do it. Do it now. If there are too many things in the critical quadrant, then Leon should make a note of which things he could not foresee and which activities he could have done something about earlier by not procrastinating. It won't help him now, but hopefully it will in future. The prioritization matrix helps you look at your task list and quickly identifies the activities you should focus on so you could deal with truly urgent issues at the same time that you keep on working towards important goals.